In this tutorial, we are taking a closer look at the air and sea battle group for the British forces. And this is co-community expert Tightrope here to break it down for you. Focusing on the Royal Navy support side first, initially you have the choice between supply surplus and naval blockade. Supply surplus allows you to select a friendly fuel or munitions point and upgrade it with a resource cache. No need to build it with engineers. You can also upgrade strategic points with a field infirmary, granting forward reinforcement and healing for a lower cost compared to a CMP truck upgraded with medics. While activated, naval blockade prevents the enemy from capturing neutral territory points, though not victory points. This is great for slowing down enemy territory gains when you get pushed back. After selecting one of those, you unlock the Centaur, which has a large area of effect on its main gun, making it strong against infantry. But the slow projectile and low penetration cause it to struggle against vehicles. And finally, you have the choice between Assault Flares or Naval Bombardment. Assault Flares provide vision around their territory flag of every enemy sector on the front line, but not on neutral sectors. It also provides a speed boost to your infantry, which is great for returning to the front line from your base. After quite a long delay, Naval Bombardment drops huge shells scattered across a wide area, making it most suitable against static targets. The Air Force side of the battle group starts with commandos, which paradrop into the targeted area. Equipped with submachine guns, they are strong at close range. Commandos have camouflage when positioned in cover. And combined with their grenade, this makes them good at ambushes. With 6 men and high health, they are also durable. Next, you have the choice between the Packhauser Paradrop and the LMG Commando Paradrop. The Packhauser is good if you want longer range and more firepower than the 3-inch mortar. However, be careful because it can't retreat. The LMG Commandos are equipped with a light machine gun and rifles, making them strong against infantry at long range. They still get camouflage when in cover, but they have less utility options than the regular commandos. And finally, you have the choice between the incendiary bombing run and the anti-tank rocket loiter. The incendiary bombing run carpets the ground in a line with flames that last for a few seconds. This does massive damage to infantry. The anti-tank rocket loiter has two planes that will fire at enemy vehicles if they are spotted in the targeting circle. Very strong when the opponent has no anti-air and against stationary or slowed vehicles. Thanks for watching. Make sure to visit companyofheroes.com for more and we'll see you on the battlefield.